Okay, so another way that you can send this file to a printer is to save it out as a PDF. So I've already explained the restrictions with that. It will be flattened, which is brilliant for a lot of reasons, but also can be quite restrictive if you notice a mistake or something like that. Um, it's much harder to change things and move things around with a PDF, but they can be quite handy for a lot of things. So to save it out as a PDF, again, make sure it's proofed. Every All your linked files are okay. If you go File, and where are we? Adobe PDF Presets. Now, there's all sorts of, you know, press quality, small file size. We're going to go for high quality print. If I click in there, and actually, let's find our folder documents. What did we call it? iMag for printers. There we go. Let's save it in here. And we'll call it um, Final iMag. Okay. Now, I'm going to hit save, and a few options are going to come up. So, we have it set to high quality print. Um, now, the stuff down here, some printers will ask you to send the document as individual pages. Some might ask you to send it as spreads. Okay, I'm going to leave it on spreads, but I guess check. I know, for example, if you're, if you're outputting an uh, InDesign file as a PDF to bring into Blurb on blurb.com, they don't want spreads. They definitely want individual pages. You can hit a certain range. We only have three pages, but let's say you only wanted the first 10 or the first 12 or something. So I'm going to leave it on spreads. Um, there's other options in here. Compression, you know, do you want some sort of compression? I'm going to say no. Um, you know, a lot of the marks and bleeds. If you want to put in crop marks and things like that, you can, but I don't want to put them in on this a printer, if you're sending this to the printer, they can do that for themselves, okay? Um, security, if you want to require a password. I don't know, let's say it's some secret document that you don't want to get out in, onto the web and you give a password to the printer. You could do that if you wanted. Um, I'm not going to. Summary, it's just giving you a little, any warnings. I mean, there's nothing, everything's good to go. So let's go export. And... Uh, I think that's fine. Down here you can see, look, we have a green light, no errors. Let's see, did it make it happen? There we go. Final iMag.pdf. So here's our PDF file. Here's our front cover and our two spreads. And let's just zoom in. Actually, you can see, do you know what's good about this? Do you remember this top logo looked all fuzzy and awful looking in InDesign? Now you can see it's fine. So when InDesign goes to print or create a PDF, it searches for the information from the original file. So once your link is there, it'll look fine. Um, let's see, that looks all pretty good. Now, we will need a PDF file for making our smart object. And that is the next thing that I'm going to show you. And actually, let me just make the PDF again, because I think it would probably be easier to have individual pages. So let me just show you is that file, PDF presets, high quality print. Let's go. We'll call it iMag single, as in single pages. Let's go save. We we'll go instead of spreads, we leave it like that and we we'll go export. Let's see, did that work? Okay, so they're individual pages. Perfect. Okay, so the next thing is bringing that PDF into Photoshop and making your um, smart object with it. So let's see how that works.